like I'm eating a yaki bar. Your nose, your eye, your lips, your, yeah. your neck, yeah. I'll eat you like a Rockweiler. I'm in Salford, Greater Manchester, with legendary bare knuckle fighter, Paddy Doherty. I thought it was better than 007. I thought, whoa, I am the man. I am the man. It was a stay that you could say I was a little bit nervous about. I am fucking shitting myself. I've entered a world that few of us, or country people as we're known to travellers, will ever get to see. I'm being taken on a tour of Paddy's place. He's already told me that traveller culture is rapidly changing and they now have to live on permanent sites. But if you live here, you have to obey his rules. No bullying, no bringing back scrap there and throwing it on the ground. Children's got to go to school. I tell you, look, get your child to school. And get... If I tell you three or four times, it's like a scratch record, I'm going nowhere with you. Yeah. So penny will drop, get out. And you're off. They look yeah. you in the eye and go, right, OK, this gives yeah. me his business. I've had a tour with a manor but I want to see where the king of the castle lives. Paddy's plot looks like a mini version of the White House, with its pillars and gated entrance. He lives here with his wife of 31 years, Roseanne. I get a brief introduction. Pleasure to meet you. Complete pleasure. Unlike her husband, she's a little camera shy. I'll have to try and collar her later. On the way in, I spot something that surprises me. Got a bit of CCTV up here, I noticed, Pad. Huh? Yeah. Just in case anyone dares to try anything. Okay, never gonna happen, now, is it? But I find out it's for a very good reason. You see never happened? I got shot here, right here. That's really? why I got shot here, right in the door. Paddy explains how one morning, as he stepped outside his house with his young son at his side, he was confronted by a gunman. And I walked straight to him. Bang, and he shot me. The bullet went through my skull and lodged over this way. I was intensive care for the week or two. Oh, so now I understand why you've got this going on there. Yeah. Because so so nothing, nothing's impossible, you know. Nothing's you, you... Impossible. Paddy's coy about why it happened. All he'll say is that it was a family feud that had got out of hand. And things may have got worse had the man that wanted Paddy dead not taken his own life. So, so much pressure was on him. He killed himself, God rest his heart. Yeah. So... Uh, well, respect for, respect for you, Pad, to even say that, even though the guy's put a hit on you and you're saying, look, God rest his soul. And, God rest him again. You know, it's, there must be something, no matter what, I wouldn't want to kill myself. I can't help thinking, if you're going to try and kill Paddy, make sure you do it properly. Come on in there, but that's yesterday's news, isn't it? Well, yeah. Well, look at this, look at this. Come what in. a gaff this is, look. What a plot. It's immaculate. <laughs> immaculate. It's, it's not my, it's my home, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, look, you've got, you've got a jukebox going on here. <laughs> look at this. Isn't it? Look, you've got to get on this. This is beautiful. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's classy. This is really homely. Yeah. It's really homely, you know? I imagined camping stoves and sleeping bags. This place is more like a cross between Beckingham Palace and the lair of a Bond villain. Oh, you got, oh, you got enough of these going on as well, haven't you, Pad? No one's coming on here without you knowing nothing. The two-bedroom chalet was custom-built to Roseanne's design. Beautiful. Get on that. Look at that. Got enough pillars here, Pat, or what? Yeah, that's the, that's the <laughs> women. They love all that. Yeah, all, 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 women. all women, all women love a pillar. Yeah. After seeing this flashy pad, I'm excited about where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. Turns out I've got the West Wing. Honest to God, if I'm staying in a five-star hotel, yeah. It's not like my own place. Yeah, no, of course. No, I love it. I love you know, it. You get you, you can get up in the morning, there, honest to God, and, and, and I sit outside with a pair of boxer shorts yeah. and I drink a cup of tea. Yeah. And it's the loveliest feeling in the world, you know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. you're looking at all travellers everywhere. It, it's like if you're in a house, you're bounded, you know, you're, you're walls everywhere around you. Yeah, of course. Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely thing, you know what I mean? But yeah. here, you, it's nice to open the door and you look at loads of travellers. Yeah. Don't make a difference what race they are. Do you miss the travelling side of things? I mean, actually travelling around? Of course or, it is. You, yeah. It's dying out like dinosaurs now. Is it? All it is now is sites to sites now, really. Although he's been settled on this site for 13 years, travelling's in his blood. Paddy was born here in Manchester to Irish parents and lived on traveller sites in London and Birmingham 
before settling here on this one. My accommodation might not be five star, but I have got a mini bar. This is bang on. What have we got in the fridge here? Ah, oh, look at that. Love. Love. I got to, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna look, I'm looking forward to it in here. I'll tell you what, I'm away from my missus, away from yeah. my kids. All right, she knows I'm, away, I'm out working, but I'm going to have a nice jolly up here. Something tells me it's going to be an interesting night. I love his plot. What a gaff. What a gaff. Piss is all over my gaff. I'll tell you that now. There's no word of a lie. Classy. But the pleasantries are over, and Paddy now wants to tell me about his love for bare fist fighting. Bare knuckle fights are all about settling disputes. Anything from a loss of face to a business deal gone bad. Paddy's 39 year career has involved fighting and refing. You know what you, you call the two gladiators? When you see two boys bleeding severely, severely, badly smashed, just bump. and they're just still hopping off each other. So normally, so normally you're not allowed to headbutt, then it's, only, it's no, just no. bump. You're not allowed to do none of that. None of that, just stand. And if up. he falls, we're no kicking. Nothing. You can't kick, you can't bite, you can't. If he falls, you wait for him to get up and you go again. He can stay on the floor as long as he wants to. You've got to stand back and just wait till he gets up. But once he's high and leaves that ground, you can go down under, bang, cut for this. You can make him do a back somersault. Once that hand leaves that ground, you can do him then. I'll tell you what, I didn't know about none of this. I mean, yeah. so this is another level, this is. These fights with rules and refs are known as a fair go, and they only stop when one man gives in by what travellers call giving best. It means he's been beaten by the better man. Is that a word you've ever used? No, never. no, and I wouldn't let me say no, no way. No, no, never, never. No, no, I, I, I could live myself being knocked out, but I, I'd never live myself to say I give best. No, I'd never look at me. I'd never, I'd never look at my sons. No, no, coach. I wouldn't look at my wife. I wouldn't go to bed with my wife. Yeah. I wouldn't go to bed with myself. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't. Oh no, honestly, no, no. I truly couldn't live with that word. But in traveller tradition, you can call on a more extreme fight, what's known as a dirty go. In this fight, there were no rules and fighters do their best to disfigure their opponents. Biting is the weapon of choice. I can eat you just like I'm eating a bar of chocolate, like I'm eating a yaki bar. Your nose, your eye, your lips, your ear, your neck, yeah. I'll eat you like a rockweiler. A lot of people bite you and spit you out. Years ago, I didn't believe that. I'd bite you and I'd swallow you. I'd just swallow the flesh for fun. Fuck it, I'm swallowing you, not throwing that back on. 